Hello everyone, my name is Red Fox Gamer. Welcome back to Until Dawn. Let's continue the story. So we we met up with a flamethrower guy. We just got a kiss from Ashley, and it's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, so, so so tell me, you're the expert on these things. Uh, what's uh, what, what, what's a guy got to know? You just be careful. You follow my lead. Okay, sweet. I'm good with that. I mean, so how many times do I have to shoot it with the shotgun before it's dead? Uh, you've been shooting it a long time. You mean this thing won't even kill it? No, slow it down. But how do you kill it? You don't like fire. I don't like fire. I fear it. And it can kill them if you have to. Their skin is like, it's like tough armor. Unless you burn it off first. That makes sense. It's also gross, but... Well, what, what are these oh things God. like? Oh I mean, God. are they just crazy unpredictable, or... I mean, can you figure out what they're gonna do? Uh, here's some pattern. Like any animal. Or human. Right. Like how? Except, Except Deadpool. Uh, they only hunt at night. Oh. Why? I didn't ask. Yeah. Mean bro... Oh, it. So if I don't move, I, I'm, I'm basically invisible. Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't recommend testing it out. Unless you have no other choice. Damn it! Probably taken. We're too late. Shh. Shh, quiet, man. You gotta be very quiet if you want to survive out here. Yeah, you could. Right, okay. You know, could you um not rush off on your own, please? I don't feel safe.
Oh, did you see the tattoo on that thing? Did you see that tattoo? Did you see that? That's that's Hannah. That that's Hannah. Oh my god. Not so good up there right now. Understatement of the night. Chris, where's the flamethrower guy? It's flamethrower guy. He didn't make it? No. What happened? The thing it tore him apart. Cut his head off. What happens when you when you try to? These all the doors? Yeah. Are you sure? What are you looking for? Another way out. Mike, look, I really don't think that's a good idea. We should stay put right here until dawn. <gasps> oh, she said it. She said it. Oh, yeah. All wrapped up like a little present with a bow on top for that thing to tear us apart on Christmas morning. People will come for us in the morning. You don't sound so sure. That is what'll happen, right, Em? Yeah. I, I mean, right. They didn't say they were coming. I'm leaving. Mike, there's no key for the cable car. Josh, he's got to have it. Josh? Give us dirty little tricks. Great. Great. That fucking thing got a hold of Josh. Then, we should have a lot. I don't know, Mike. It's possible. What's possible? It may have taken him down to the mines. What? I saw some horrible stuff down there. I think it's where that thing lives, and... Huh. Em? What? Fuck it. I'm gonna get that key right from that thing's goddamn bedroom, and then I'm gonna get us all the hell out of here. And what is all that? It's, uh, that old guy's bag. Is that a map? I was prepared for anything. <laughs> yeah, except... Except getting his head chopped off. Place. I was down there. It was horrible. You were? Some of them survived, but like 15 of them didn't make it. I found these plans. They knew the mine was a death trap, but they let the miners keep working anyway. Michael, I'd like to maybe focus on how we're going to get the fuck out of here, please. I'm just yeah. saying, it's weird how much crazy shit's gone on up here. What's weird is that there's a tunnel leading from the lodge to the sanatorium, see? That's how I got back here. I saw this when I was down there. That's where it lives. Um. Yeah. Um. What is? Huh? What is that? You, you, you haven't noticed it. It's, it's nothing. It just it, it bit me and bit you. What bit you? The the Wendigo. What? It's nothing, really. It's not a big deal. You okay? Shit. It doesn't hurt anymore, really. It's. It's not that bad. Ma'am, if that thing bit you... I, I know what you're thinking, and I'm fine. Are you? Yes. Emily, at least let us check it out. Emily, if the Wendigo bit you, you could turn into one of those things. Oh, that's not really. He said it was from eating each other. Remember, he said oh, that. Is that how it works? Yes. It happens. If it bit you, you're going to turn into one, and then you're going to turn on us. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You can't be down here with us. What? Mike! You gotta go. Are you kidding me? You're putting us all in danger. Like hell I am! Emily, you can't stay here. Mike, just cool your head, okay? We don't know if it works like that. Maybe it's just a bite. I've seen what these fuckers can do. I don't want to say it again. What is this? Guys, what are you doing? The door's right here. I am letting you do this voluntarily. Oh no, you're just making yourself feel better about sending me to my death since you know there's a Wendigo out there ready to rip me to pieces like it did with... Okay, oh my god, will you just go? Go, get out of here! Whoa, okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Mike, calm down. You're... you're gonna shoot me? Mike, me? This is the safe room, Em. Please. Please. It is not safe as long as you're in it. Not for us. Don't, don't do this! I'm really sorry. Ah, oh, I can't do it. <clears throat> it doesn't work. I don't think it works that way. What? They're not zombies. They're Wendigo. Maybe. For now. Shit. Fuck, fuck. Keep an eye on her. If you see anything weird, you guys know what to do. Yeah. I wonder. 
okay? It's not safe out there. I'll be back soon. Yeah, go, yeah, Mike, go get yourself killed. Bye bye. Our dude, now we don't have a chance. No, guys, it just means we've got to be tough. We've got to do this on our own. Okay, we get to be oh, Ashley again. Let's find out how this thing works. Journal cannibalism. Okay, only a few men have dared to hunt the Wendigo. I am the only man. This guy's a little OCD. I'm the only man who has kept them under control. Need these things to be death. You should must be contained. The Wendigo grows out of cannibalism. Dis desperate and craves food. In the fierce fight to stones. When he has eaten nothing for many days, the Wendigo spirit has begun to possess them. The strongest man is weak, dude. Very weak. Most often those companions with them. He will eat the flesh raw from the corpses. Seen this happen many years ago, a craving food flesh that cannot be saved. And then there's a change which means the change files become a little king white and deep. It's a great day as an end of skill. And there's no one that was the friends. There was a tribe that lived in these mountains, uh, the Cree. Their shamans tell stories of a tall creature born in a ice. History to this. Born in ice, their tribe. Respected in mountain and all animals which lived on the mountain became sacred to the Cree. Every animal became sacred also. The Cree also believed it was bad luck to harm an animal on the mountain and would hunt elsewhere. In 1893, the miners arrived. They found them. Faces of radium and the mine did. Mountains cried out, and the, the spirit was released. Mining disaster. Death toll rises. Sniper. The Wendigo's eyes change. They become both sharper and more dim, and Wendigo moves his movement to his But you not see stillness. Is it because the Wendigos are mutated from humans? When they hunt us, they know how to perfectly mimic their prey. Hawk, but I can see the stillness, or the flesh of the armor, they seem to be feeling it. Look at, look at the buffet, they just fucking dick. Um, then flamethrower, it is the best weapon. The filaments, and then they get an abundant one to calm for them. Rest of the mountain. Three may be defenses, there may be defenses, shamans, road, or rituals, I have found. And crap, human crevice. Cree legends say that the Wendigo grows from the bite of another Wendigo, but the bite is harmless. I have been bitten, but I did not change. The only way is to eat the flesh of another. There is no other way. Oh, that's good to know. Oh, no, 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 what? no. What is it? What does it say? It says that... It doesn't do anything. Let me see I'm that. I'm sorry, what did you say? Um, it says she'll be okay. It says what? You're gonna be fine. Fine? Mike almost shot me, is that she fine? didn't shoot you. And this bitch almost let him. Hey, that's not fair. She was scared. I'm the one who's scared. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Emily. I didn't know what was going to happen. There's None of us know. There's no excuse. There's no excuse for this. Just try to understand. Understand the palm of my hand, bitch. I'm sorry. I'm so, 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 so sorry. That's not cool. Let.